Good day everyone. Welcome to Studio 39 Design Studio. This is Richmond speaking, your resident architect. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do uh, 3D roof tiles on the same project we've been using for my previous video for this um, uh, beginner series tutorial or tutorial series. Uh, on the previous video, I showed you guys how to do this um, uh, a roof truss system, sort of like a basic roof truss system. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, but in this video now, we're going to be doing something um, that I recently found out. So I thought I should just uh, share it with you guys. So uh, without wasting any time, uh, let's just get into it. Before I continue though, I'd like to encourage you guys to like, comment and subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. Now with that said, I would like for us to uh, get on with it. So, uh, this is part of the Archicad goodies. Um, now, first let me just explain to you guys how do you get this information onto your Archicad um, software. So this is under design, uh, design extras, accessories, and then this is going to be a roof accessories. Obviously this is showing, but uh, it might not be showing on your Archicad, but how do you then get it into your Archicad? What you're going to do, you can just go to um, Archicad, um, Archicad Goodies Suite. So you can just do that. And then uh, you can just click the first link. Obviously I've been there. Um, it's Graphisoft downloads <laughs> and it's gonna take you here obviously uh, this is the downloads for uh, Archicad 24 and you can just click over there to download if you're using Windows if you're using Mac you can download by clicking the uh, Apple icon over there but obviously for me I'm using Archicad 22 so I'll have to go to Archicad 22 and then I'll do the downloads uh, those are these are all the add-ins that you are going to be putting in as part of the Archicad goodies. Uh, once you did that, you're gonna download obviously, and then uh, once you've downloaded it, uh, there it is right there. I just I just recently downloaded it today and installed it today because I just found out about it today. And then you can just down uh, double click it, and then uh, you can run the installation. The, the installation obviously that's all up to you once it is installed uh, it's not going to show up right away this is something that I realized when I was installing it it's not going to show up right away so what you want to do is you're gonna go to file uh, library objects and go to library manager once you inside the library manager you can just click on add and then you can go to where the uh, file directory is going to be installed into so obviously um, I know it's under C drive uh, program files and then I'm going to go to Graphisoft Archicad 20 um, and then um, it's actually let me just go to Archicad 20 and then just open open a new window <coughs> so this is what you get uh, under Archicad 20, you're going to get add-ons. Uh, under add-ons, you can get your goodies. So these are all this information that I was telling you about. So I'm going to just group by type here. This is all the, this is everything that you are going to be trying to install, which is everything here. So obviously, we just want to concentrate on the accessories, but we're going to be installing everything at the same time. So with that said, uh, you're gonna go to uh, file uh, library objects library manager add and then under Graphisoft Archicad 22 obviously you're not going to be going into the add-ons to sort of like add the goodies but what you want to do is you want to click on accessories library 22 and then choose and then you can just click OK and then it's going to be added onto your Archicad but for good measure you can also just go onto add-ons and goodies and say choose once again and then click on OK 
uh, and let it run obviously for my, from my side i don't need to let it run right now because I've, i already have it in there so uh let's get into it so another thing that i want to do right now is first and foremost i want to create because i'm going to be doing roof tiles um i want to create a another layer which is going to be 3d uh, roof dot tiles and there you go so i do i did create the trusses and the reach on the previous video now i'm just creating the roof tiles obviously uh what i want to do is i want to take this uh rich capping and hide it right now and then i'm gonna go ahead and click on this uh go to design and then design extra accessories and roof accessories so it's not showing here so maybe i should go back and uh, do exactly what i was telling you guys to do so add um add-ons accessories and then click on okay so i'm gonna let it run it's gonna take just a little bit there you go let's see if it's going to work now design um design extras accessories roof accessories there you go so what you get here you get your wood ceiling and then your roof surfacer 22 and then you go to roof surface uh, settings what i want to do right here the contour line just make it uh, uh, black and then the uh, fill can be just uh, any line it's fine and then uh, under general settings uh, standard uh, seam uh, you can also uh, select uh, corrugated obviously then you can manipulate the corrugated sheeting and then a trapezoid if you wanted to do something like that uh, normal tiles uh, you can also select uh, rounded tiles and uh, you can also select italian tiles so obviously from me right now i want to be doing the italian tiles so i'm just gonna click ok for now and then roof accessories cannot handle multiple plane roof please split the roof into single planes uh roof first i'm gonna say ok on this one uh, so it's saying it doesn't recognize multiple planes so i'm just gonna move a copy to the side um just in case i need it later on and i'm gonna go ahead and click this roof uh right click it and then go to split into uh single plane roofs and then split anyways and what i can do is uh the uh, the the grouping is currently suspended so i'm going to uh alt g to unsuspend go to design once again design extras roof accessories and uh uh, with that selected uh, it's fine the other thing you'll want to know you will notice is that the surfaces are randomized and then there's three different roof tiles and uh, you're going to see what's going to happen right away and that's what happens guys uh, you get your your roof tiles uh, so let's just make this a little bit more you know user friendly and more appealing so what you're gonna do is each plane is separate and it's not part of a sort of like a system so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of this and then I'm gonna put it into one uh, one uh, sort of like a layer which is 3d tiles 3d roof tiles I mean and then I'm going to control G to group them so if i select one of them they all select and then control t to open up the settings um uh setting dialog and then uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm going to uncheck the random uh, the the randomized so i just want one color and i'm going to be using this uh uh this orange color right here and also you can also see what you can manipulate uh, so the spaces from sensor to sensor of the tile, I just want it to be 200 because I don't want too much of a gap. And then the other thing I'd want to manipulate is the um, number five. Number five can be zero. I'm happy with that. Uh, the thickness 
can be 20 it's fine I don't have a problem with that and then the number two is going to be the distance from uh, from uh, Perlin to Perlin uh, you can use your own imagination on that one uh, that's I think I'm happy with the, everything that's happening right here and I'm just gonna click OK and that's what happens guys and then you get your roof one thing I'm realizing is that the roof is not well detailed so I'm gonna right click on it control T and then under the 3D, 3D, 3D detail level it's, it's showing a simple so I'm just gonna show it as detailed so that it has more body on them there you go the only thing I don't like is um, what's happening here uh, on the edges uh, I'm gonna figure out maybe eventually at some point of how can I fix that problem um, maybe let me try this let me do this delete that uh, so I'm just trying to see what's going to happen if I change the the eaves on the roof that we're going to be using design uh, design extras accessories roof accessories and uh, change that uncheck that uh, use the same color uh, use 200 over here and then this is going to be uh, zero uh, I want it to be detailed as I said and the um, the the layer is going to be roof tiles and then click on OK uh, it's the same so it doesn't change much so uh, I'm gonna figure out eventually but uh, I hope this was um, help, helpful for you guys so what I'm gonna do is right now I'm just gonna go ahead and um, group that and then I'm going to bring back the this right here which is the, the ridge capping and I'm just gonna raise it just a little bit Yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, with that said, I'm also going to give it a different color, just to give it that uh, that pop. And then I'm gonna take the roof right there, and then I'm gonna switch it off. There you go. Uh, so that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because I'll be doing videos like this every week. I uh, love you guys, God bless you, and goodbye.